If you ever cared about which dominant hand is more used by the population, it is right hand. That's no surprise, right? For years, the population of left-handed people in the world was always 10%, but there was no means of any evidence to prove that claim. Being left-handed back then was considered evil, where left-handers were marked as witches and the world sinister in that and his left as in left-handed. In 1969, Time magazine also wrote about the devil being a southpaw with other evil spirits conjuring up the same left-handed justice. In a world where everything is accepted, left-handed people are no longer considered evil, witches or sinister. In fact, they do seem to struggle with spiral notebooks, can openers, computer mouse, and school desks that were mainly designed for the right-handed majority. Here's a list of things you never knew about left-handed people and what makes them so unique besides being in the minority. Before we start, if you guys find this video interesting, please let us know by smashing the like button. And if you enjoyed the contents of our video playlist and want to see more, just click subscribe and don't forget to set the notification bell to get the latest updates. Lefties have more sleep problems. Are you left handed and always have sleepless nights? Well, there may be a reason for that now. Chest, which is a small journey company, has done a small study to determine the amount of limb movements in right handed and left handed people. Researchers have found that 94% of left handed people have limb movements, which can be an indicator to the sleep disturbance known as periodic limb movement disorder, compared to 69% of right handed sneezing. there is holiday for left-handed people. Rejoice now, for it is a time of celebration. That's right, you heard me. August 13th is the International Left-Handers Day. This special day was founded in 1976 by the creators of Left-Handers International Incorporation. Dean R. Campbell was created to raise awareness of the advantage and disadvantages of being a left in a predominantly right-handed world. They are less likely to be less hemisphere dominant for language. In the vast majority of the population, language function is nearly always localized to the left hemisphere. This is why a stroke or other brain injury suffered to the left side of the brain tends to lead to language problems. Among right-handers, left-sided dominance for language approaches up to 95% balance. However, among left-handed people, this drops to 70%, with the others either having language localized in the right hemisphere or spread evenly across both hemispheres. People with certain mental health disorders are more likely to be left-handed. Among people who are suffering from mental illness, it was found that psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia are much more likely to be left-handed than those with mood disorders, active depression, or bipolar disorder, according to a study published in the journal Sage Open. Researchers studied a small group of individuals from an outpatient psychiatric clinic and found that 40% of those with schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder were left-handed. Lefties have an advantage in sports. If it isn't obvious already, being left-handed isn't always necessarily a bad thing. In fact, if you want to best your right-handed friends, why not pick up a sport? A lot of face-to-face -face sports, such as boxing and tennis, allow lefties to have a distinct advantage. That is simply, they are more used to facing right-handed opponents, which the majority of the rivals will be, than right-handed are used to facing left-handers. Indeed, one evolutionary account for why left-handedness has survived is that it confers a fighting advantage the so-called fighting hypothesis. There are many studies in literature that explore the left-handed advantage in sports like boxing and fencing. Four of our last six presidents were left-handed. Coincidence? I think not. A Dutch researcher hypothesized that left-handed candidates may have an advantage in television debates. He says people tend to associate right-handed gestures as good and left-handed gestures as bad. So when people watch a debate on the TV, the mirror image takes the lefties seem like they are gesturing to the right hand, aka the good hand. Majority of left-handers tend to be male. According to the 2008 study, sex differences in left-handedness in meta-analysis of 144 studies, 23% more male are left-handed. This study compiled the data from 144 individual studies including a sample size of almost 2 million participants, so this is generally accepted to be statistically relevant. Your dog could be left-handed. A man's best friend or the most trusted company may be a southpaw. Get it? Because they're dogs. No. Okay then, but isn't that just cool? Veterinarian Janice Lloyd told ABC Australia that in her research she found nearly 50% of dogs favoured the left paw. Some people are scared of left-handedness. As crazy as this may sound, it is actually true. 
Xenophobia is defined as the fear of things at the left side or left hand of people. Sufferers may avoid using the left hand, touching someone else's left hand or touching an object which has come in contact with a left hand. The condition is generally thought to arise as a result of negative past experiences that can also occur seemingly without a reason. It is cured most successfully by having a qualified therapist guide the sufferer through some difficult tasks related to dependentness, i.e. exposure therapy. If you think you have synesthophobia, check out these symptoms. A deep sense of panic when exposed to or just thinking about left handedness. A desire to do anything possible to avoid situations where you might be exposed to left handedness. They are better at multitasking. Data collected in 2008 by the Illinois research showed that left and right handed people deal with tasks and memory performance in different ways. Experiments show that they went given two tasks to complete simultaneously, South Pole participants perform best. This is because right-handed people tend to solve problems by breaking them down into parts and analyzing each piece one at a time. Whereas left-handed people tend to look at the problems as a whole and use pattern matching to try and solve. If you're left-handed and watching this video, great! Now you have a lot of good knowledge and information that all makes you special. If you're right-handed, that be said, in our upcoming video, we will be talking about your special traits too. Did you enjoy our video? What facts surprise you the most about left-handed people? Are you left-handed or right-handed? Please shout it down in the comments and let us know why. And also, if you want to give your family a surprise gift for any special occasion, you can now check out our website and look for creative and adorable gifts. This has been Music Chess, your lucky lefty, signing out.